Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you back to another video with me, JG1 Barton. In this video, I want to go over something that I discovered a little bit ago. Uh, my internet doesn't often go down, but it does sometimes. And that's about the only time I ever fly offline when I need to get my kicks without the internet. Other than, say, trying to get to know a new aircraft before uh, Flanders and Flames or brush up on a plane that I haven't flown in a while. Well, my internet went down a couple weeks ago for a little bit, and I flew offline against a bunch of SPAD AI, and I was in the dual mode, so you only get one per wave, but the waves never end, and I had limited ammo on, so my enemies didn't end, but my ammunition did, and I found myself having to deal with an enemy without any bullets. So I was taking shots while uh, not being able to return the favor. Now, I stumbled upon something that was rather interesting to me anyway, and I figured that maybe I'd be able to use this little quirk in the AI programming against it, and I was. And essentially, if you do exactly the right thing close enough to the deck, you can get the AI to fly into the ground, almost at will. The first condition is obviously that you need to be low, very low, close to the deck, as close as you can possibly get. You also want to extend out just far enough that the opposing pilot thinks that he can get a shot off on you, and that's when you're going to cut back underneath him and try and force him to overshoot. I've been trying to put myself into a position that will allow the AI to attack me at just the right time. And the first two times, I did not extend far enough, and the AI was not able to attack me. This time, I extended a little bit too far, and he was able to attack and pull out of the dive. This time, again, I turn in just a little bit too early, but eventually I get it. And the next one, you'll see the AI lock onto me and start to drive in for his attack. At that point, I'm just going to evade his bullets, and he goes straight into the ground. And the way this works is that when the AI goes to attack you in this kind of a head-on uh, pass, it just locks onto you and it attacks you all the way through the merge until it overshoots, and then it pulls out and goes into another maneuver where it goes back to attack you. But if you're low enough to the deck, it won't have anywhere near enough time to pull out of the dive once it overshoots. This is going to work best against energy fighters, like the SPAD or the SE-5 or something of that nature. I'm using the SPAD-7 180 horsepower as it is a little bit faster, and I can restrict it to not having the overwing gun so I have less bullets to evade, and if I do mess up, uh, the chances of me suffering a catastrophic failure are much lower. If you're looking to repeat this, I would suggest using a lower spawn altitude. I was at 1,500 meters, which is about where I usually keep it for practice and stuff like that. But if you're specifically trying to pull off this maneuver and trick the AI into killing themselves, then I would suggest maybe taking their spawn point down to about 500 meters or 700 meters or so. Again, with this guy, we're just going to get down as close to the deck as we can, and he's not even going to attack us. He's going to wing over like he wants to attack us, but then bail out of it too late and go in. So thanks for watching, and have fun.